Hello AMA students, this is Mr. Paramo once again recording something for you live from my classroom and that right now the class is actually empty. I'm looking around, they're all empty seats. It's Friday at 427, that's when I'm doing this recording. So I'm hoping you all got this worksheet that uh, Mr. Fransman has passed out to you. It has uh, several problems and I wanted to give you a quick example of how to do something like this. So if I have something like it says on the same curve graph, I'm hoping you all know how to punch in these individual equations into your calculator, your graphing calculator, making sure that, see how plot one, plot two, plot three, that they are not highlighted? They need to not be highlighted. And I have this one lighter, this one darker, and this one uh, dotted so I know which one is which. And I'm going to go to the graph button. And if your graph does not look like mine, remember the biggest hint that I could give you is this zoom button. If I use zoom and I choose number seven, the trig, it will give me the standard trig functions. And so that's the, my first function of sine of x. And then this is the one, the sine of 2x. And then the last one is the sine of half of x. The last little trick I want to show you, so what I would essentially want you to do on your worksheet is to take this little window and kind of copy it onto your, uh, your worksheet where it has graph and things like that, okay? Uh, just to want to show you one little thing, if I use the trace button on my calculator, if I press trace, what ends up happening is this little X shows up on my graph. And right now I am tracing the very first function I've entered. I'm tracing y1, I'm tracing sine of x, okay? So if I press the right button on my uh, little uh, graph paper here, as I enter in different values of x, if, when x is 30 degrees, the sine is half, just like we did that table. So I can actually have this cursor and it will follow that function and go all the way down the line. So I know that at pi, which is the same thing as 180 degrees because I'm in degree mode, I'm at zero and I can go down the line. If I press down, I can have the second function of sine of 2x. So I can actually trace this function and know which line is it that I've graphed and I can actually trace and know which one is which so that when I'm actually going to my worksheet, I can be graphing and say, I can label this one here is sine of 2x, this one here is the sine of half of x, and this one's the sine of x, if I wanna do something like that. So uh, hoping that helps you uh, finish up this worksheet. Uh, last few things I would say is if it says on the same curve graph, that means you have one graph for all three things. And then down on number five, it just says graphs. So you're going to have to have separate graphs for 5A, B, C, and 6A, B, C. Okay? Thank you. Have a great Monday without me. Make me proud.